Hi, my name is Susan. I am a global career coach and I'm here to kind of talk to you about, you know, are you giving ownership of your career to somebody else? And that normally that somebody else is normally your manager or the company that you work for. I'm actually asking you to really take a hard look at what you're doing. Are you making some of these, you know, big mistakes? So number one is you do a great job in that company, but the only person that knows how great you're doing in some senses is actually the four walls of the company that you work for. If you kind of follow that approach, you're never actually going to get companies chasing you because they don't know you exist. So if you want to know more about how I work, come and have a chat with me. But number two, which I do kind of see quite often, is that we seem to give kind of a lot of control to the hiring manager or our employer in terms of well you know we've not we've not been able to actually get promoted or we they've not been able to put on the training that we wanted or maybe the training course that we wanted to do and in some senses we accept this and all I'm trying to say to you is you know on occasion you need to kind of take a good look at your career where it is to date and actually start asking the questions, well, am I happy if I was doing this job for another couple of years and I didn't get that promotion? What is my plan B? What is my strategy if that's incredibly important to me? And obviously, if that's not going to happen, it could be that you need to kind of move onwards uh, to a different company. The other thing that I do see often is that it's kind of, well, they wouldn't pay for the training that I wanted. Um, and people get really frustrated with this. They see it's really important. It's something that's going to keep them motivated uh, in the job that they're doing. But the, the manager or the hiring manager doesn't actually see it as relevance. Um, I think, again, you need to kind of go, OK, am I accepting this? What is my plan B if they actually say no? Could it be that I actually suggest, well, if you're not actually willing to pay for this, could we look at a way that maybe you pay half of uh, this course for me. And failing that completely, it could be that you kind of say to yourself, which I've done in the past, which is, okay, I actually have to pay for it myself. This actually feels really strongly, I want to do this, then that is, you know, a, a definite option as well. And it could be that you've got to do this, you know, of an evening or whenever, but if it's important to you, make it happen. That's what it's all about. Uh, make it happen is definitely the key. So I suppose what I'm trying to say to you is in some senses, we put more thought and time into a two week holiday than we actually do for a career that we're going to be doing for the next 50 odd years. So make a decision. Career management actually can be actually fun, believe it or not, because it's actually the things that you enjoy. It's painting the picture to attract the right companies to you. If you like my approach, feel free to come and check out my website, which is a LinkedIn successacademy.com. My name is Susan Burke, B-U-R-K-E. Come and find me on LinkedIn. And as always, get noticed, get hired. Take care.